How's it going, everybody? Hope you're all doing well. So we're going to do another stump talk, specifically a very key important one that I see overlooked, especially when it's like without rule of law or SHTF situation or like bug out bag or patrol bases or st stuff like that. The number one thing that is often overlooked that everybody like jumps to tools and wanting to be a warfighter, wanting to be a hardcore gray man, which is pretty good at, in aspects. But the biggest key thing takeaway is avoidance. Avoid potential threats. That's literally one of the biggest practices of say a get home bag or a bug out bag or a community patrolling or a community neighborhood. You don't want your footprint to be so large that so many other people see you and deem you as an asset for food or water or an asset for other things that they can take. Especially in the community mindset. If you're out on a patrol, say you have your community and you're sending patrols out just to do a good observation around your location, um, depending on where you're at, you shouldn't really be making contact with everybody or you should be literally blending into your surroundings. Now, blending in doesn't mean, hey, you're in an environment like this and have camouflage, but blending in also means blending in with locals, looking like that. Depending on how far we are into an incident, you may need to look more of the homeless gray man type. So you packing around a rifle like this, it's all camoed up with a really cool high speed tactical pack or whatever pack you choose, plus with LBE or chest carriers and stuff like that, you're gonna be viewed as, hey, that guy has stuff, I want that. So with that, the avoidance piece, do you have the ability in your pack and in your gear to blend? And blend doesn't mean like, oh, I'm gonna change into a different set of clothes. Maybe it does mean that. But what we're talking about is, can you stow things like this and still move on. For example, inside your pack, do you have enough room to put things? As in, that's why I advocate for often a larger pack, but don't fill it. You allow excess room to put your carriers and stuff like that, where your mags can go and things. So you can stuff it in here when you need to, but then you can also bring it out. Can your rifle and your kit fit in your bag right now? So if you're saying no, then maybe rework or relook into your situation. Now, Met TC is going to dictate, of course, but avoiding that mindset or people seeing you and go, he's got cool stuff. I want that. You don't have to go after everybody. So now key play is an environment as an avoid, avoiding people. Say if we're in a bug out bag situation, a get home bag, you're going from you, maybe your home and you're going to somewhere safer, or maybe you're out on the road and you're coming home. You have hopefully a bag that you're traversing miles and maybe you're alone. So have that ability to scale up and down, especially in environments at night, nighttime, naturally most people are sleeping. So that's why people or you know, communities and stuff invest in night vision because they know less people are gonna be awake because you can't see at night. So that's when they operate or be at night. Now I get it as expensive, night vision is a very expensive tool that you have to budget for. But you can all, if you don't have night vision and something happens, then maybe think about the times of the day that you're traversing. Right? If there's a hot area or a town or something like that, maybe going through the outskirts of it around 3, 4 a.m. in the morning right before the sun comes up, because majority of the time, that's least likely when people are going to be awake, because especially if they stayed up all night, they're more than likely at that 6 a.m. mark or 5 a.m. mark going to be sleeping. So that's an exploit that you can use to benefit yourself going through stressful areas. And yeah, that might slow you down. If you come into an area and you're like, have an observation, you're like, man, this place is really busy and it's five o'clock in the evening. I'm gonna have to slow up my progress. I'm gonna hunker down, wait for three, like I'm gonna take a nap, wait for 3 a.m., wake myself up, which it's important to have some kind of device that can wake you and be able to traverse through that. Is an avoidance, not being saw. You're at your most vulnerable when you're out on the road or when you are patrolling and stuff like that because you only have the provisions that you can carry on your back. 
So you want to be the most cautious. So think about it. Can your gear fit in here? The key takeaways. Can your rifle fit in your pack? Can you go back and forth for scaling wise? Can you blend into your environment with maybe a ghillie if necessary to stow your pack or whatever it is? But then can you go that gray man route? Also, do you have night vision capabilities? Maybe not, that's okay. Use other techniques about the environment around you to aid you. Do you have a good watch that can vibrate, not ringtone, you awake. Now I get it, maybe some of you will have you know, a phone and it might be able to be charged and stuff, but look into watches that have a vibrate technique that you can be sleeping there and it only wakes you. Those are key takeaways. Now there's a bunch of takeaways you can take away from this. And I said take away like seven times, which is awesome. <laughs> Shows my, my linguist ability or whatever, but ultimately look into that kind of stuff. Just little things, little tidbits. It's all I'm dropping in here. Think about it. So if you guys like this kind of stuff, want to see more, definitely like, subscribe. Give me a comment if you've thought about this, if you haven't thought about this, whatever it is, does your pack allow you to do this? Um, maybe your plan doesn't even involve that. Maybe you're literally out in the middle of nowhere. Leave me a comment. It helps the algorithm quite a bit. So other than that, I hope you all have a great day. Turned out to be a really, really great day. We've been hit with rain like the whole week. So it's nice to get out to blue skies out in the middle of nowhere. But unfortunately, the middle of nowhere is packed with people now because it's Memorial Day week. So I've had a couple four wheelers and dirt bikes occasionally. Me attempting to film this video will ride up next to me and I'm like, oh, hi. <laughs> Normally there's no one up here ever. Memorial Day weekend, people are everywhere camping and hiking and four-wheeling. So, yep. All right. Let's pack out.